The MERS virus has arrived seemingly out of nowhere. We actually know it originated in the Middle East and that it's potentially fatal. And while public health officials have been downplaying the threat after two confirmed cases here in the U.S., just today, the federal government stepped up its efforts to keep it out of this country. Today, a health advisory went up at all major U.S. airports, alerting travelers to the Middle East and trying to prevent its spread. Healthcare workers in Orlando are being tested after they came in contact with a patient. And tonight, this virus is being taken very seriously. It's where we begin our reporting tonight with our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyder. The White House today responding to concerns about the deadly virus now showing up in the United States. The president has been briefed on, on this development. Uh, the CDC is taking the current situation very seriously and is working uh, in close coordination with local health authorities. So far, two cases have been confirmed. A patient in Indiana was hospitalized for 12 days and released last week. The second, a Saudi resident who is visiting family tonight remains hospitalized in Orlando, Florida in good condition. And now 20 health care workers at two hospitals in Orlando are being tested for MERS. Health officials on the front lines of previous global outbreaks like bird flu, swine flu and SARS are concerned. Dr. Michael Osterholm recently returned from the Arabian Peninsula where he has been studying the MERS outbreak. One of the problems we have with uh, a, a MERS-like illness is that it also is, is very uh, similar to a lot of early onset illnesses from other respiratory pathogens. So you know, very well might think of it as influenza or some other respiratory pathogen. That's why the TSA has begun to alert travelers. These signs are being posted at major airports across the country about the disease's symptoms and how to prevent its spread. MERS started in the Middle East and jumped from bats to camels and now to humans. There have been cases confirmed in 17 countries, most in the Arabian Peninsula. And now with Dubai being the world's busiest airport, containing this virus may no longer be possible. And because so much commerce now goes through the Middle East, this outbreak has worldwide medical implications, but it also has major economic repercussions, too. Brian? We'll stay on it. Nancy Snyderman okay. starting us off tonight. Nancy, thanks.